I've never ever dealt with this before on any pond I've ever done. If it was almost anything else, we've dealt with it. This story of my life. Hell, that's above the water table, though. This is just a drainage pond. You know, it's hot out, water evaporates. We told them when we did this pond, it's, I don't know, we're gonna have enough rainfall to have a half acre pond. Hear that? You can't hear that? That's more than a trickle. There ain't no drain in this pond. Let me see that. right there is just above the floor so that'll be your problem it's not good if we can put the bed night in there and see if it will fill it but the chances are there's multiple lots of those i should take my steak back i'm gonna go do my research before i talk to it and be sure that's not crayfish i don't think it is yeah, John. Hey, just left your place, man. I placed that stake over there, but it don't ain't gonna do no, do us no good. I found the problem, and uh, the old wise tail farmer was right, man. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Right in the right in the center of the freaking head wall is a big old crayfish hole. So what are we gonna do? I'm not sure, man. Let me do a little bit of research. I've never ever dealt with this before on any pond I've ever done. Never been a problem. It's as deep as I can see. You remember when we first started and we dug a little bit and we found a all those all those holes by the spring there's hundreds of them yes. perfectly yeah. round hole that's what it is 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 a hole just like that and doing the research that's it's that looks exactly like what it shows a crayfish hole to look like it's so big that it was so easy to find because i could hear the water running into it wow that's why the pond won't get over a certain height is because it's getting up to it's like a weep hole in your sink it gets uh -huh. up to that certain that certain height where the hole's at and it's running into that hole but is there no way to plug it maybe with some bentonite or some hydraulic cement or something i'd love to talk to someone i've got a bunch of buddies who do nothing but ponds i love i'd love okay. to talk to one of them and see if they've ever experienced something like this and, yeah. and what the solution is surely there's some way yeah but here's one concern also is that we plug that and who's to say it doesn't just dig somewhere else you know do we just stay on top of them and keep plugging them or that would be your prerogative on if if a plug is the fix see, see what you can find out and let me know and um you know i'd be willing to do you know whatever's whatever you recommend um, okay. uh, you know, I just hate to abandon the project now that we've done all the work, right? Yeah, exactly. I hate to even be having this conversation as ignorant as I am about this particular problem. If it was almost anything else, we've dealt with it and, and have a great solution for it. But, man, I've never dealt with this before. But if that other fellow was so quick to think of it, surely this is a common problem. And I've got plenty of buddies that, that do ponds. Let me just reach out to them and get, get some valid information and reach back out to you and see what kind of game plan we can come up with on it, you know. Let me know, and I um, appreciate you coming out. Well, I'll start making some phone calls right now. See ya. All right, see ya. You call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you try... These boys, are, uh, uh, they're bankers. They only work four days a week. Hello. Man, I love that quick response time. A customer just called me with a pond leaking and we, we built the pond, so I was worried, you know, that maybe we screwed up, but got out there and crayfish are eating up the dam. Have you ever dealt with that and, and know a fix for that? It's a crayfish? I, I know, I'm just as fucking confused. I ain't never heard that. That's what I said, man. I was like, dude, I hate to sound ignorant, but I've never dealt with this before, man, and I've built thousands of ponds. You can never guarantee one the whole water either. Yeah, I don't. The old farmer neighbor who also has a pond and is losing water, is the one who said something to him about crayfish and when he called me i was like man i never heard that but i'll run out there and make sure i didn't do nothing wrong uh, how long has the pond been built uh since december when you build a pond a lot of times they'll fill up and then they'll go back down till you know because it takes time for them to yeah the ground to saturate yeah, yeah but now, this... I, even, I even had people laugh at me said there's no way 
you'll build a pond if you're I found dead. a hole, you know. It's like a muskrat, not a, not a fish. When I first went out there, I seen the holes in the ground and we dug down past them. And I thought it was moles or voles digging holes, you know. Got all these little holes. So obviously not good for a pond floor. So I have to cut down past all that. I mean, it's a perfect hole. Like you stuck a three inch probe down in the ground. Cause I could hear the water sounding like it was running into a well. It was so deep. Yeah. I seen the holes there before, but we scratched down over 12 feet. The pond's 12 feet deep. The question is, you never dealt with this before crazy? No. Okay, no, that's what I've never I even heard that as a reason. <laughs> Me neither, man. The story of my life. I don't see how a fish can do that. It's like a crawdad, you know, it's got, it's like, it's got pinchers, you know. Man, I ain't no fucking fisherman either. I, I, I just moved dirt. Please say wild man. We built a pond for a customer back in December. Got over there, and man, there's a perfect, perfect, three inch hole. It's crayfish. You ever heard of that? What you do about it? I've heard of crawdads with the holes and ponds. We got past the strippings. We were in the, the best clay you could ever ask for for a pond. We put our key in and, and built the whole entire dam out of the clay that we were digging out. What the hell do you do to get rid of a crayfish, crawfish, crawdad, whatever the hell they're called? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? When we first did the pond, they said it got the highest it ever got, you know, and then it took a month or so and it came down to that level. So I guess they just keep digging until they get back to shitty soil. You know, North Carolina Wildlife Department, they, you, they might could give you some advice on if it is a crawdad, what you do. That boy's boys are pretty sharp. You think they'd tell me how to get rid of it, though? I don't, get, I don't guess they're protected, are they? Oh, shit, I wouldn't think so. They're every day. <laughs> what if it's something other than a crow, Dad? I know. It's big, man. It, the hole's big. It must go down low enough that that water gets below the key. Yeah, yeah. You know? And that's deep, man, because it, if it's... If where it's at is four feet above the bottom of the pond and we put our key in six or eight feet below that, so the hole itself has to be over 12 feet deep. Holy shit, man, I wouldn't think a little bitty crawdad dig 12 feet deep. I appreciate you corroborating that you've heard it's a problem before. I don't know how big of a goddamn fish it. it should it even be called a fish? This says two to three feet deep or more. That they dig. I've talked to a whole lot of people this weekend. The best answer that I've been able to come up with, and it's from with the wildlife they say that uh crappy fish if you can get put fish in the pond them crappy will eat every bit of crawdad that's in there good good and bad about that is that in the future if you want other fish you know folks don't like crappy because they eat the eggs and small fish and stuff like that you, and i don't know if that's your plan but if so maybe you put the crappy in there to get rid of the crawfish problem and then pull them back out before you stalk it yeah that could be a solution but i'd have to have enough water in there to right the crappy. that's exactly right so what we'd have to do is drain what's in there now go in turn all the soil over obviously repair the one hole and then probably put some betonite in all the soil that will and, and what it does is that mixes with the clay and it expands eight times its size so it almost I, I hate to use concrete as an analogy but it acts that soil real real hard I'd hate to try to wait for rainfall to fill that up to put the crappie in there to kill the crawfish and ideally you'd have the pond filled and then throw the crappie in there that way there when the crawdad did try to you know come back the crappy was eating them immediately you know in my research and like i said i've probably talked to 20 folks over the weekend from a bunch of different uh, avenues you know pond builders drainage guys wildlife guys fish guys and that's the best answer that i've been able to come up with doing the repairs filling it full putting the crappy in there and then you know you can kind of go however you want to about that later on if you want to pull them out to stock it or just leave them in there to keep keep the crawdads away. Yeah, the, how would you get water in there? A truck or pump it from the stream. At this point, I'm willing to, to try. You, you put together whatever that is and tell me what that's gonna cost so I can make a decision. Okay, I'll, I'll work on that this evening and send something over. One thing too is we don't necessarily have to go in and line the entire thing with the bentonite, but I'd hate to repair the one hole and fill it up and realize there's more that we can't see, you know, un under the water. And, and, and this just kind of adds a shield of armor really on the whole thing uh, until we can get it to the point where the crappie are in there. And so. All right, well, yeah, put all that together and send it to me. Okay, will do, man.